Hey everybody! Welcome to, well, to day 12 of Shriktober! Huzzah! Ooh, we're like almost halfway there. Yeah! Like, almost. <laughs> <laughs> well done if you're still going! <laughs> this, this is probably as far as I have ever made it in a monthly drawing challenge. Mm -hmm. Day 12. And then it's all, it's, it's all down there from there. Yeah. Uh, but the nice thing about Shriktober is that it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is very true. As long as you had some fun, it's okay. You can you can do what you want. Um, today, uh, twelve is thunder, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, I I'm Jenny. Hello, I'm not the one <laughs> drawing in this video because I do not know how to draw. So uh, Beth is the person. That's why her chibi is on the screen. Because <laughs> hello, it is me. That's the, the relevant drawing. information. <laughs> Uh, Jenny is here as the resident other Genshin player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so you drew, uh, you Genshin Gimgar, right? I Genshin Gimgar, uh, and I am. You might have seen that I did a video on this where I did three in one, and I'm much happy with this design because I'm not trying to cram three into one video. <laughs> I also, I also did that initial video in such a short space of time, so I'm much happier with Gimgar's design. Um, I also remembered to give her a vision, which <laughs> I didn't realize that I had completely forgotten. Like a key aspect of the like yeah. Genshin character designs is their vision, and I completely forgot. So. Uh, Thanks for not pointing it out, anyone in the comments. <laughs> Great on that. Um, but I started off this one and I actually recorded from the very beginning the sketching process mm -hmm. because I had quite a lot of different ideas and I thought it might be more interesting to show you like from scratch. Like, Yeah, um, and they're all pretty, I think they're all pretty distinct. I mean, we're not all the way through all of them yet, but um, they're pretty interesting. Can I ask why mm -hmm. um, you thought uh, Gimga would be Electro? Not that I don't um, agree, I'm just curious as to what your <laughs> thought process is. Well, A, she's purple, right? <laughs> she's colour coded to be purple. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she, um, Game Girl had two options, really. She either would have been um, Electro or Geo. Mm -hmm. And I think that, at least in the game, the Geo users are often very shield heavy. They're often, like, a lot of it's about, like, I'm here to protect you yeah. kind of, like, vibe. Mm -hmm. And Gimgar's a lot more about sort of explosive. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sort of similar in the way that like fire is often coded in character designs as being like high damage, explosive, a bit chaotic. Yeah. Um, electricity's got the sort of similar vibes. Yeah. So, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I also, obviously, she's got to be a little. Like, <laughs> she's got to be one of the little ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But the, the first, like, not cutesy yeah, one, because like, most of the say, littles are, like, they're like small and cutesy. They're, super cute. They're, they're essentially chibis, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, I read somewhere the other day that um, uh, one of the characters that you have that's a little... Uh, Dio so, Sayu Sayu she, she's like Sayu, a 20 yeah. year old woman she's an yeah, adult she, well, she's human. like a teenager yeah her um a part of her story is that she never grew like she was like really short and somehow she got it into her head that like if she slept more she would grow bigger which is why she's always so sleepy I see um okay. But like but no, Gim -Gar's Gim -Gar's just the sort of little who's like biting at your ankles kind of <laughs> you know so she's small but like angry. Yeah. Uh, and I, I I looked a lot at everyone else's designs and the thing, and not many of them wear armor. Like at least in the same way that like you know like a suit of yeah like, plate, like plate mail kind yeah. of thing. Um, but it's like a key part of Gimgar's design. Like her design itself, I was looking at like her outfit's pretty simple. It's basically just the plate mail. A lot of her like the bit that stands out comes from her like her tattoos and her hair and stuff um but i i wanted to keep the plate mail because it made sense but like her, her actual design is so simple but like genshin designs are so complicated uh, yeah there are many many layers i was actually gonna say do you think that there's no like heavy armor or plate usage in genshin because it's not sexy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, um, and also, like, all of the characters have this, like, their animation has this, um, what is it called? Sympathetic movement where... Yeah, ev everything, everything is, like, is really flowy and Yeah, movie. and jiggly. Uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. And there ain't nothing and, uh, jiggly about Gimga. <laughs> no. Uh, plate does not do that, but um, like I still want to keep all that like detail in it. Um, so she did. She does have plate. She's got like bits of plate, like the top half, and you know knee pads and gloves or whatever. Um, but like much like you were saying, there is a lot of sympathetic movement in uh, Genshin character design. So I wanted to give her a lot of fabric. Mm-hmm. Um, but like it's all like torn and like I kind of try to make it look burnt. And um, you know she's got yeah. like chains and pointy belts. <laughs> and, you know it's like punk yeah. rather than <laughs> exactly. Um, also, Ginga always has this like slightly unkept vibe, right? Where, mm-hmm. yeah. like, um, in the sketch designs working at the moment, you've got the, like, I guess it it was maybe in the one you're coloring at the moment, like her dress that has like been torn and and ripped and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. Ginga's not the kind of person to replace that kind of stuff. No, <laughs> she'll just wear it. Still it still covers her butt. <laughs> yeah, it's functional. <laughs> this is a nice piece of fabric i'm not going to get a new one yeah exactly also Mm -hmm. effort (laughs) yeah like maybe once her plate was like a full piece of plate and like her like the sort of thing was more like one of those like tunicky things that you wear under your plate like some sort of guard uniform and she's like no this is like it's been set on fire at least four times and i have cracked this but we're going with it because it still (laughs) works I distinctly mm. remember there being a period where once in High Hopes of Rolls, y'all had to force her to have a bath. So Yeah, I, th- <laughs> I think that was actually after she had one. It was either a tattoo or a branding that went wrong. Oh, yeah. And she hadn't washed in such a long time and it started to get infected. And I That's think someone right. like... Like the hospital cast or water wall or the, something. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was the first time, and then y'all took her to a mm-hmm. he- like a group of healers who were like, mm-hmm. okay, and then they in, in the uh, while she was unconscious, they also gave her a bath. <laughs> yep. And she woke up <laughs> and, and she, she woke was up horrified. Like, <laughs> I smell like soap. What is this? <laughs> uh-huh. So I actually uh, edited this video uh, that Beth. Uh, well, Beth recorded all the footage and then I put it together into this video that you're looking at now. Hello, future me who's putting the audio in. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> um, the You might have noticed that there is like this like uh, rotating text on the side of the screen. It's telling you about there being a link and a coupon code. So I'm going to tell you about that right now. This video uh, is actually really graciously sponsored by uh, Toolbox Tech who sent me me jenny the editor a uh one of their brand new uh pieces of kits called toolbox neo it's basically like a uh key binding device so you can bind your like let's say for example i used it to edit this video so i bound the zoom in and out commands to the scroll wheel for example i have a button that does undo because I make a lot of oh, mistakes. Oh, that's so handy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I have, there's like another, uh, there's like a dial on here that I now use to um, very accurately change the volume of a clip. Because Ooh. in Final Cut, you have to click and click and drag up and down. There's, right. And there's no like, there's no way to zoom in on that to get it very accurate so if you want it like Mm -hmm. one decibel down you have to just wiggle the mouse until you get it (laughs) yeah exactly (laughs) so now i have like premium control over everything Mm -hmm. you can also use it um as like a a side to a drawing tablet kind of thing yeah wait i mean like it works with any kind of thing it really does um... i mean for example in this video you're like moving the canvas around a lot obviously because you Mm -hmm. want to like zoom in and out and get a look and you could do that without having to take your hand off the biggest thing for me about it was that it meant that (laughs) i didn't have to take my hand off the mouse to do stuff i just put my hands on my mouse and on the toolbox and then i went through the edit there was no breaking to work out where the keys were or anything i just know where everything is it's so helpful so you can use um, Topbox with Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Lightroom, but also any of the non-Adobe equivalents as well. Um, mm. It works with PC and with iOS. So I'm using it for Final Cut 10, for example. 
uh, like there's a knob in the center so you can use that to um, change the size or the opacity or the the style of, of uh, brush that you're using you've got the dial for like precision um, number control you've got um, a whole range of different buttons so that you can um, switch modes like it's got like a little d-pad on it that um, has several different you can click a couple of buttons to change the buttons that you have mapped to it so you can have three sets basically it's really convenient <laughs> it has honestly changed my life editing wise so thank you very much toolbox if you're interested you can um, jump over to their website there'll be a link in the description to this video and if you use our code wizard <laughs> Uh, a funky you get 10 bucks off we have a we have nice. a discount code Beth that is the coolest thing Whoever thought that that would happen <laughs> <laughs> none of us um, that's for sure none of us uh, in the, so in this video we're back to we're about to your inking um, Gimgar. Um, Gimgar and you've slapped the vision straight in the middle of her chest <laughs> yeah I well first of all she had to have one because I yeah. forgot the others second of all I feel like if it weren't directly attached to her, she would lose it. Yeah, that's a, um, that's a good point. It's got to be really front and centre, mm -hmm. or it would be gone. Mm -hmm. I thought, like, maybe attach it to some kind of necklace, but, like, if there's any sort of, like... I mean, she's cut, she, she'd jump and it would be off her head. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. just attach it directly to the middle, and then we're good. I, like, I also imagine that, like, the kind of um strapping that it would be attached to like might also hold her sword in her back or um she also carries a shield so like you know multifunction she would have slapped <laughs> it on whatever was already attached to her armor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um, uh i mean she might have stuck it i mean alternatives not that the way you've put it isn't isn't well, exactly ideal on the um, hip yeah or uh mm -hmm. in in the sword i don't know if they do in that the sword yeah in i haven't seen genshin but that would yeah. be the next thing because she's like particularly um fond, fond. of her weaponry <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah um i gave her an actual in-game sword i can't remember what this one was called um oh but one I of the had claymores, a look yeah one of the clay yeah, she'd definitely be a claymore user mm -hmm. because like absolutely massive sword tiny lady um i can't remember which one it is uh but i thought the design kind of looked funky and it kind of fit with her thing I mean, the stats might not be right, but like, it looked <laughs> cool. And I used an actual sword from the game, which is better than it could have been. So, <laughs> <laughs> do you know the artifact sets well enough yet to say? Nope, nope, me neither. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I <laughs> went I, through I the wiki last night and uh, rearranged all of the artifacts. So, hey, would you believe that I had all of them wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah, ha ha. I, I did a similar thing. I know, like, I need the viridescent veneer set for Sayu because she's the only one I pay attention to. Um, <laughs> so slowly, I will build my way out. Okay, we gotta, we gotta start small. And <laughs> game is big, and I am small. <laughs> it, that you made some really good choices in this video. I think in this drawings, Thanks. rather. Um, it really, it really suits Gimgar. I would like to play her. I think. I think her voice lines would probably be <laughs> really funny. <laughs> really yeah. wild. Yeah. She would have because you know, like a bunch of the characters have like their constellation is an animal, or mm -hmm. like some of their traits are animal based. Like she could actually have a bear as hers. Um, yeah. And it could be like her alt could be like big electric bear like, oh that'd be so cool you know like boof yeah yeah comes yeah out and, like either as like a shield or as like a mm -hmm. it does extra damage like i don't know if you've seen um razor the character he's, he's got mm -hmm. like a wolf yeah 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 um, kind of similar um something like that i think would be neat but uh i'm sure y'all in the comments are going to have a much better idea uh, you all seem to do know much more about this game than we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us what artifacts that Kim Girl would wear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any ideas for cool alts that she might have? I'd love to hear it. Yeah, me too. Thanks very much for watching this video, everybody. Um, I had a good time. Thanks for me joining me, Beth. Uh, and thank you for doing the drawing. Happy Shriektober, everybody. 
happy Streetober. I hope you're all still joining along and you're all still having fun. Uh, if you've also reached the day 12 mark and you've crashed, don't worry, you can pick it up on day 24. No <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Take a break. What's what's more yeah, us than having a nap in the middle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And thank you to all of us for sponsoring this video. Go check out the link in the description and use our code WIZARD for $10 off. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.